what's up guys so it is day three of my surgery um i didn't really record yesterday because i went to a doctor's appointment which was the day after my surgery and they told me that um i wasn't supposed to come to that appointment that early which i don't know why they scheduled me appointment the day after my surgery because not much is going to really change and so um i haven't been really recording much because i have been in more pain um, when I first got a surgery, it might have been, like, the medicine they gave me while I was in the hospital was why I wasn't in pain. But so the drains are really uncomfortable now. And I'm supposed to go tomorrow, which is Thursday, to get them taken out. But they are really uncomfortable. Sorry for looking raggly. Um, the last two videos, I just have not had it in me to do anything. My hair is not done. My little sister is supposed to come do my hair tonight, though. Um, I've been on medicine like constantly because it's very it's very uncomfortable for me. Um, I think it's because of the drains. I think once the drains come out that I'll feel a lot better. So this is just kind of a little part that will probably go in the video that you guys will get uh, when I do my um, my in depth video, like when I'm telling you guys like everything. I think I'm gonna just insert this in there. So I just kind of want to tell you guys what been going, what's been going on. I did go to Walmart yesterday and I did get some sports bras. Um, but when I record my video, I'm gonna go all in depth about everything that I've been feeling and what's been going on with me. And this will kind of be a little insert or something like that. It might not even go in the video. We'll see. But um, I do, I do want to show you guys. I am about to show my drain, so if you don't like stuff like that, I will click off the video right now. So, they did check my drains when I went to my appointment, and they said that um, they'd be taking them out tomorrow, which I already told you guys, but it's because I'm not having a lot of fluid coming out no more, which is good, because that means a lot of the fluid is out. So, I haven't checked it. I just woke up, so I'm going to show you guys. So I did just get it um, emptied like probably some hours ago. And right now this is all the fluid. Oops, sorry guys, hold on one second. Here, let me just do it this way. So this is all the fluid that I have right now. Um, so I can show you guys like how to empty them really quick. <clears throat> so I just unbutton these. They don't need to be unbuttoned. I was just checking myself out. So this is the drains. The drains are coming from coming from over here. Um so first when you <clears throat> I don't know about every hospital, but I'm gonna show you guys how the drains work first of all. So they come, I got this one clipped to my shirt. So they come with two little things. So you can clip them on your clothes. So you can like clip them. So they're not like just hanging everywhere. So you would unclip it. And it's not a hard unclip, it's easy. And then it has little two little grip parts on the side so you don't like, you know. So you just clip it. <clears throat> um, that's first. Um, so you get two cups. I don't know if these are like cups that you be in, but they just gave them to me. And they write <clears throat> left and right on them. So like you don't misconstrue what you put in there. So this is my right and this is my left. And so when you get ready to drain them, you're gonna open up whichever one you're about to use, which I'm about to use my left. Or no, I'm gonna do my right first. So I got the right cup. We're gonna open it up, sit it here. And I, usually my boyfriend has been doing it. I haven't really been doing this on my own, but I have been if he like, if I want to, cause he doesn't have to, but I'd rather him do it. Okay, so unclip it from your clothing, 
and then you're gonna have these this thing that twists it off so you can twist it off and you see the air will like kinda come out I'm gonna do it again so you see it's like no air in there you can kinda see it fills up with air <clears throat> so you take your cup and you just I like to have it at an angle like and hold this white part down because it's easier and you just pour it in there sometimes it's like a little leftover that won't come out but it's fine so when you go to close it you gotta squeeze the air out because you don't want it to pop or something from you laying on it on accident or whatever then you just twist it shut and you clip it back onto your clothes and you can like kind of tuck it into your shirt or whatever <clears throat> so I'm gonna do it again on this side and also at the doctor's office when I went to my appointment we're gonna shut this suit by the way so we don't get confused and this little bottle has like the ounce and stuff on it so you can see how much you had so, when I was a doctor, she would like, I don't stretch the cord to make sure everything was like out and it's not clogged up. And I didn't know this cord was like stretchy, but it is. So, you clip it off. I'm going to have this open first. And then you open this. And then you just kind of pour it out. I try to get as much as I can. It's always a little left over. And then I just, you have to make sure you squeeze the air out and keep it squeezed. <clears throat> and then you can tie this back on while you're squeezing it. So the air stays out. And that way it's no like, you know. Um, and then once you do that, you'll just clip it back on. <clears throat> 